What do you think about all this UAP UFO stuff? Have you thought about this? Do you think that this is some sort of a government program? Like they, they've developed these high speed drones in secrecy? I mean, because that's one I, prevailing theory. I have trouble understanding. Like, take the UFO aspect of it, right? Right. Like, yes, there's absolutely zero question on Earth that there's life out in the solar system. It's an infinite solar system. It goes infinite on universe, forever. Yeah. Into, I'm sorry, infinite universe. Um, smoke some 5-MeO and you'll go out there, right? Right. And, and like, yes, it's out there. The government keeping it secret and being that capable to find it and keep it secret, I don't know. Um, I took mushrooms with my friend Mike Gregorio, and we tried to get on to Area 51 one day, <laughs> and we drove up there. And, like, we That's just, such an I just did mushrooms thing to do. Oh, yeah. We tried, and we, <sighs> like, have you ever t gone up there? No, I have not. Because it's this road, Area 51, it's this highway, and the, and the base is over a mountain, but the road goes on forever, and you're driving, and we're high as fuck on mushrooms, and we keep getting, <laughs> but we're not getting any closer to the mountain, and we're driving, and we're driving, and we're driving, and, we're driving, <sighs> and suddenly there's a white van behind us, right? With the light on. And we're like, oh, fuck. Okay, good. Like, this is kind of what we thought might happen. And sure enough, guys get out, military dudes with guns, and they're looking at us they're like, okay, you guys are on mushrooms, right? We, ah! We've seen this. We've seen this. <laughs> Turn around. It's so common. Turn around. That's hilarious. It's you're almost not, like the mushrooms want you to go to Area 51. You're not getting on the base. They're like, there's a hotel called the Little Alien Go down there with everybody else that's on mushrooms, and, and you could sit out there all night and have all your theories, but you're turning around. And we're like, Roger that. That's and amazing. So That's I don't, so funny that they called it. Yeah, they knew it. Like they just, just came, must like, be so like, common. Buddies are like, let's take some shrooms and get on Area 51. <sighs> and these guys, they're not, they weren't nasty or tough, but they're like, yeah, yeah, you're going to turn around, drink some water, <laughs> turn around, and go to the Little Alien Hotel. Uh, you're allowed to get like a certain distance, and then it's illegal. And I, I believe they had to expand that distance. I want to say it was during the Obama administration. They had to acknowledge the. It might have been before that. They had. It might have been Clinton. They had to acknowledge the existence, or it might have been Bush rather. They had to acknowledge the existence of Area Fifty One in order to expand the forbidden zone. Yeah. Because they had a forbidden zone, but like they did no not acknowledge. Fly, no flyover. No drive. No, no drive. You can't hike in because people were filming things. John Lear, in particular, a lot of people were filming things that that set up like very strong telescopes and high speed optics, and they were filming these tests right. of these things. Whether or not these things were UFOs or whether it's top secret shit they're working on. Obviously, the stealth bomber came from that program. The Harrier jump jet, yeah. which would like vertically mm -hmm. lift and then take off. They made a lot of wild shit that is absolutely from us. But the, the alleged claims, and the most fascinating one is this guy Bob Lazar, who claims to have worked at S4, which is a, one, a Site 4 of Area 51. And he was on a program designed to back engineer this recovered disc it's a fascinating story because if he's full of shit oh my god what a great story this guy's pulled the wool over people's eyes for 30 years right because he told the story in like 1989 was the first time he told it so it's more than 30 years so, but he's also he has like real knowledge of the the area he has real knowledge of los alamos labs where they they tried to say that he never worked there but then they found them on the employee roster from the time he, he went in there people knew him right like it seems like the guy really was a propulsion specialist and they really did try to get some off the fucking beaten path scientists like let's take because they have to get fresh eyes in these things allegedly every few years they bring in but everyone's sworn to secrecy and it's very compartmentalized so the metallurgy guys are not allowed to talk to the propulsion guys the propulsion right no, no one gets together and goes what the fuck is this right, like they can't right. have a group of science so they exist in a team form and it just does, it doesn't work that way 